When evaluating the limit as x approaches negative 3 of x squared minus 9 over x to the third plus 27, the first thing to consider is direct substitution. However, in this case, when substituting a negative 3 for x, we find that negative 3 squared minus 9 over negative 3 to the third power plus 27 yields 9 minus 9 over negative 27 plus 27, which is 0 over 0. Direct substitution does not help us find this limit. The next thing I'll try is to factor the numerator and denominator and see if I'm able to cancel out any of those factors. In the numerator, x squared minus 9, I have a difference of squares. Recall from algebra the formula to factor a difference of squares, a squared minus b squared, is a plus b times a minus b. So I can rewrite this limit as x approaches negative 3 with the numerator of x plus 3 times x minus 3. The denominator is not a difference of squares. It's not a difference at all. It's a sum. And the two terms are perfect cubes. The formula for factoring a sum of cubes, a to the third plus b to the third, is a little bit more complicated. a plus b times the quantity of a squared minus ab plus b squared. In this situation, the a is equal to x and the b is equal to 3 because 3 to the third power is 27. So using the sum of cubes, the factorization of x to the third plus 27 is x plus 3 times the quantity of x squared minus ab minus x times 3, I'll write that as 3x, plus b squared. If b is 3, b squared would be 9. Notice that in the numerator, there's a factor of x plus 3, and in the denominator, there's a factor of x plus 3. I can cancel those out, and this is equal to the limit as x approaches negative 3 of the fraction without those factors. So I'm left with the limit as x approaches negative 3 of x minus 3 over x squared minus 3x plus 9. Now that those factors have been eliminated, direct substitution will work. So I'll go ahead and substitute for x a negative 3, and the numerator becomes negative 3 minus 3. The denominator is negative 3 squared minus 3 times negative 3 plus 9, which results in a numerator of negative 6, and a denominator of, well, negative 3 squared is 9, to be a little bit careful with the positives and negatives here, minus 3 times negative 3, Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And then a term of plus 9 at the end of the denominator, which yields negative 6 over 27. In lowest terms, negative 6 and 27 are both divisible by 3. In lowest terms, negative 6 over 27 is negative 2 over 9. The limit as x approaches negative 3 of x squared minus 9 over x to the third plus 27 is negative two-ninths.